Hey everybody, this is Mystic Virgo. Oh, not sorry, not Mystic Virgo. <laughs> that used to be me, Mystic Virgo. I am now Nikki Virgo 111. So I'm going to uh, do a reading for you all. It's going to be uh, whatever course pop out. So I'm going to call this my pop out reading, okay? Uh, it's going to be energy. So whatever I pick up on, you all take it and leave the rest. For those of you who are waiting on your personal readings, I will have those for you today. I, I wanted to do a, a video, okay, um, and I will put out like a, like a live reading, but I was just going to put it out there. So I only got about, I think, seven people, so I'm just going to see you all individual personal readings for that. And for the three people who won my contest, the game I had earlier this week, I have those for you tomorrow. If not late tonight, it will definitely be tomorrow, okay? Thank you all for your support. We're going to get started with your pop-out reading. Take what you need and leave the rest. And you all have to excuse me now. I'm, my nails are atrocious, so can't go to the uh the nail salon so you have to excuse me okay all right messages for the collective all of these pop outs pop out readings for the collective okay take what you need you all and leave the rest thank you for being a part of my channel i also have up on the um community section uh give me a song you all i'm going to listen to what or whatever you all post um it's like your your personal anthem Let's listen to our personal anthems. What is your go-to song if your ex wanted to come back to you? And mine is Michael Bolton's Love Cuts Deep, which I love that song. In the very beginning, he says, you're knocking on my door. Say you want me back again. Say you want to try once more, but a broken heart don't man. Wasn't all that long ago. You swore that we were through. Don't know what you want from me. Don't know what I need from you. That's Michael Bolton, baby. Yes. So put your song up there, your anthem, your personal anthem. What do you, what song would you, if you were, if you're at ex, if your ex were to come back to you, what song would you, would you show him or her to prove your point that you don't want to be bothered anymore? Okay. And those are for, this is really for specifically for the people who are not wanting to get back with their exes. Okay. All right. Pop out reading for the collective. Ten of, you have 10 of pentacles, more income coming your way. And it's like. You're headed toward some superstar status with this Ten of Pentacles here. And I have the Ace of Wands backing that up, saying, okay, we got the Ten of Pentacles here. I'm going to already let you know you got a blessing coming into your life. It's huge. A new pathway. Something most likely that's going to make you very emotional. You're going to have some more income, uh, maybe some kind of winnings, maybe a new job after all of this is over. Because we have the Death card here. And you're worried here with this nine of pentacles. Am I ever going to get, you're worried right now. Am I ever going to get out of this situation that I'm in? And with the two of swords, you're very, very decisive. And with the queen of wands, you're really not sure. Okay. Clarify the queen of wands. Clarify the queen of wands here. Pop out the seven of swords. It's like, I don't want to go through what, I'm, what I've been going through. So I'm, I don't want to know. I don't want to go through what I've been going through. Uh, am I, when I make this new path, when I do this thing that's supposed to be benefit, beneficial for me, am I going to be hurt again? Am I going to be downtrodden again? Am I going to be broke again? I'm so afraid to move forward. I'm so afraid to move forward because right now my life is all jacked up. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. And we have the justice card. The universe is saying, I know what, what you can do. You can wait and be patient. Wait on God to send you your blessings because you're headed toward more money you're headed toward more income you're headed toward more um of a, of a bright future for you you're headed toward greatness don't worry we started with the ten of pentacles okay clarify the ten of pentacles let me get another deck to clarify all right all right spirit guides and angels give me a clarifier for the ten of pentacles for the collective the clarifier for the collective here Okay, we have a pop out. Six of Michael. It's the light at the end of the motherfucking tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. After this shit is over with, don't say relo I'm not saying relocation and travel and all that stuff, but things are going to get better for you. Got You got We got to get through what we're going through now. And then we're going to head because we have a light at the end of the tunnel. The, the universe already told you from the beginning, you ain't got nothing to worry about because I got you. I got your back. I got you. No, no, no worries. There's a light at the end. You may not know what's going on, 
but the universe is saying, hold up. I, remember I told you, I will never let you fall. I will never let you fail. I'm going to tell you right now to rest. Like he said, rest on the seventh day. But right now, God is telling us every day of the week, every day of the month right now is the seventh day. And it's time for you to rest, to work on you. That's what we're working toward, resting. Because it's a light at the end of the tunnel. I know it's glary. Light at the end of the tunnel. It's time for you to take a rest. A seven day rest. You know, it's like the universe is putting us in rest mode. He rested on the seventh day. That's what he wants us, us to do. But right now, every day is the seventh day to rest. That might be the title too. Every day is the seventh day to rest. Okay? All right, y'all. I don't know what else to say to you. All right. All right, let's see. All right. Messages for the collective. What messages do I have for my collective here who are watching? Message for the collective. Message for the collective. I'm going to do something. Um, all right. I have here the Three of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles here. You want to celebrate. It's like you want to celebrate your life. Uh, reworking on yourself. Uh, making sure now that, that we, we are behind closed doors. That you really, really, really sit and think about what you want in your life and what you don't want. What do you want to change? Because you, you're by yourself. Well, normally you have three people in here. But right now we only have one. We're having you working on yourself. Working on all the different things in your life that you need to change. And know that things will get better for you in the future. By you working on, on your health. Your spending habits. Working on things around the house spring cleaning when you it's like when you get out of out of the rut you're in things are going to start shining you're going to be shining like a new coin when you're done when you're done you're going to shine like a new penny you just got to keep working on you working 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 on what it is you need to fix everybody has something they need to work on uh it, this is not a time for us to just sit at home and do nothing Work on you. Figure out what you need to do for you. Some of you are working on your figures. Because I say that. And I'm looking at this uh, this Virgo drape I have here. You see that Virgo drape? That's, that's what I'm looking at. Somebody's working on their figures. Can you see that? Working on your greatness. Working on your beauty. Fixing you. So you can look better for yourself. And then so everybody else can see how good you look. Okay? What was the old beat out Sassoon commercial? If we don't look good, you don't look good? Yeah, the universe is saying, I already know you can look good. You just got to look good for yourself. Feel good for yourself, to yourself, okay? All right. Messages for the collective. The three of wands here. And I have the two of wands. I always get these behind each other. And I have the King of Wands here, which I saw earlier when, shuffle, when shuffling. So right now, um, we're looking at a lot of different things with this Three of Wands. What we're going through right now, it's like this too shall pass. Because we, we we're right now in the midst of a Three of Wands, all of us. Sorry for that. That that's, that was a motor, so I can have my door open. <laughs> Sorry. But this is the Three of Wands here. It's like right now we're looking at things unfold before us. Everything with people getting ill and, and uh, just like we're watching the days and hours pass us by. Hell, if we're not really paying attention to, to the day, it's like, damn, what's today? Thursday or Friday? Saturday or Sunday? What time is it? That kind of stuff. Because we're, we're literally watching the days pass us by while not, not even paying attention to the days of the week. And then we have the Two of Wands. And it's like... I'm so glad I got through this three of wands energy. I'm so, so glad I worked on myself when I was behind closed doors. I worked on my diet. I worked on my health. I went walking and playing with the kids. <clears throat> but just, just reminding myself to live again, to, to put myself out there in the world and don't be afraid to, to just wait and work on me. It's like, like I said, it's like God is putting us in seven days of rest. Like on that seventh day, God rested. Right now, God is saying rest every day. Work on you while you're resting. And we got the, the uh, king of wands. This is how you're going to turn out. When all of this is over, king and queen of wands. Okay? 
Sorry about my nails, y'all, but <clears throat> I don't know how to do nails. I got to get this, uh, what do you call it? This, um, what do you call this stuff they put on here? Whatever. Anyway, I got to get this stuff off. I tried to soak it off. It wouldn't come off. I don't want to break my real nails, but it's just some kind of gel stuff on here. I don't know how to get it off. But anyway, all right. More messages for my collective. I have here the Nine of Swords tired but but it's like the universe is lifting all of your your carries away but this is just something we have to endure um you just this is something that you have to endure i'm giving you this time to rest but it's like the universe is is rebirthing itself recharging itself we're gonna have a lot of newborns in nine months okay it's gonna be an over overflux of newborns in nine months okay uh, smart newborns um electrical newborns um what word am i looking for light worker newborns we're going to have a bunch of um rainbow children in nine months okay because we have here the page of pentacles i'm coming for you uh, the newborns are coming for you in this universe after the circle of life is completed if that makes sense i mean that was kind of deep the, the 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 newborns that are be coming into the world within nine months are going to be light workers after this this tower moment after the death cycle is complete a, a new crop of light workers are coming through <sighs> oh i just had to take a, a deep breath for that one <sighs> all right universe what else We have the Page of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Chariot, and the Two of Cups. So right now we have the Page of Swords. Right now you're thinking, I'll be so glad when this shit is over with. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I'm, I'm afraid of making a move. I don't know if I should stay still. I don't know what I should do. I have the Nine of Swords. The King, I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles. Just, just wait. Think about what you're doing. Think about what you want to do with your real life and just wait a minute. Wait, don't mess it up because we have the Knight of Cups. So we have the Cups, we have the Pentacles, and we have the Sword. All of this stuff is just telling you we're going to make a move. We may be a little shy or, or, or a little intimidated by what's going on in the world around us and by the universe. But we got to hold our mule. Hold it right now because after a while, you're going to take charge. You're going to, everything that you're learning right now in this time of solitude, the universe is saying, okay. Okay, let's get to where we need to go with our lives. We're packing up our shit. We've rested our, our God put us on on a mandatory rest. We've done everything we were supposed to do with ourselves. What is there left to do? When all of this is said and done, it's time for you to move on with your life. Whether you're in a relationship or not, a new relationship or not, a single person raising your family, going back to work, it's you working on yourself again, putting yourself out there in the world for everybody to see each other so we can get this shit started again. It's all about you making that step toward your your greatness after this rest is over with. It's like we are in a universal state of rest. Okay? A universal state of rest. All right. Spirit guides and angels, give me a, a, clear, a clear love reading here for the collective. Spraying my rose water. Beautiful love messages for the collective. I have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. And, and some of you, if you're in relationships, you're going to get stronger. You're going to be more stronger after this situation than you ever have been. We may have a few divorces, but we also may have a few engagements too. After this situation is over, because somebody's going to see what the person who, if you're in a relationship and you all are sequestered together, you all are going to see each other for your true worth. Either it's going to work out or it's not. And this is the perfect time for y'all to, to, to figure this out because some of you are in, are, with, are, in, are in relationships like, I really see what you're all about now. You ain't no damn good. But then we got other people. I see what you're about now. I see everything about you. I see your beauty. I see your greatness. I see how you handle stuff under pressure. I mean... Some of, some of y'all are going to have some amazing outcomes while the rest of you, you're going to separate because you finally see who that true person was when it, when, when shit was on, when, when the shit hit the fan, when the shit hit the fan, they backed up. But some of you, when the shit hit, hit the fan, 
your soulmate stood their ground and showed you their true worth. And you're not going to let that person go. Y'all going to hook up and y'all going to get married. Because you love the sex. <laughs> y'all getting to know each other. If this was a new relationship, <clears throat> y'all are really getting to know more about each other. Even if it's not a new relationship. If y'all been together for months and years, this is a, 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 the greatest time for you all to get to know each other. Because you all are revealing your innermost selves to each other. Y'all with each other six, seven days a week. And you all are passionate about each other. The sex is on point. You realize that this is the person. This is your call mate. This is the person that the universe have always given to you. And some of you may have been in separation mode before the situation started. But y'all know y'all can't go nowhere because y'all behind closed doors. But y'all got to know each other better. And you all worked this hard situation out together because y'all trusted the universe. Y'all said, well, we're not getting along. We're going to stay together until this shit is over with. I'm going to pack my shit and I'm going to leave. And you thought that this was was um, a time for you all to separate. You thought that this was a, the, the not the right person, that this was unrequited love, and there was not enough chemistry to keep this relationship together. But you, you lied to yourself. Well, you lied to yourself because you said, you don't treat me good, or you don't do what you're supposed to do around the house. I can't trust you or whatever. We just not chemically, energetically connected anymore. I'm done. You lied to yourself. And you wanted to free yourself from this relationship. But the universe is saying, hold up. Hold up. Think about where you are. You're behind closed doors with this person. I purposely put you two together for you all to get to know each other. You all have been very passionate. You have went the extra mile to do what you needed to do behind closed doors and vice versa. You all sat down. You all talked about it. The thing about it is, this is, was the perfect time for you all to talk about it. To close those doors, light your candles, fix your dinner, do whatever it is you want to do. Just sit down and put those cell phones down, turn that TV off, and just talk to each other about your life. Your childhood calamities, things you went through. Y'all are giving this relationship a chance because you all are physically working on your relationship. You are trusting the universe to get you through this 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 calamity that we're going through this situation has called for you all to have faith and you thought about it damn i love this person damn i love that girl are you like texting your friend and you say damn angie i think i'm in love with him i don't know what i was thinking he doing good around this house he taking care of the kids we talking to each other more the sex is better than it's ever been before everything about him has changed this is because you all trusted the universe you all trusted the universe, and the universe told y'all to sit y'all butts down and talk and work this thing out. Y'all were working it out and didn't even realize because y'all were trusting that the universe was telling you to give this relationship a, give this relationship a chance. And y'all working on it. And you all are getting so much closer because when y'all really need each other the most, he is there for you, ladies, and, let, and men, they are there for you. Your women are there for you. And this is what it is about you all getting together and working this shit out. A beautiful outcome. Okay? And I have reconciliation. What I just say, reconciliation. Someone from your past is coming back. If you're laying next to somebody who you thought that you were going to break up with after this situation is over with, think again. The universe is saying you lied to yourself. Y'all getting to know each other on a different level. Y'all talking to each other. The love between you all is very, very passionate. Even though the, the love was probably passionate at first, it's really passionate now because you feel like, damn, my life is flashing before my eyes. And I'm going to do all I can while I still can because the universe is is, is is like you either shit or get off the pot what is it that you want to do with your love life do it now or get it over with okay and this is what you all are doing you all are working out your indifferences and you and you calling in your soulmate this is your soulmate you may have thought that this was unrequited love but look trust the universe the universe is telling you is demanding while you behind closed doors at rest to get this stuff together give your relationship a chance you may have said, man, I don't think I want to be with her no more. She lied to me. She cheated. Or I don't trust him or whatever. And you want to free yourself. But you're being very, very deceptive because this person loves you. And you love this person. And with us being locked up behind closed doors, you finally know that this could be the one. Now, not that this could be the one. Hell, this is the one. I've been with this person for weeks. And this person has shown me the very best in them. Showing me the very best that you got. Because I know, now that I know you much better than I did a year ago because we've been together we've probably been together 10 years but this is the first time you've probably ever sat down and really really had a conversation with this person okay this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek and you know that this is the one true love for you oh, wow light uh light bearing children are coming uh light workers more light workers are coming to help save the earth okay give me one more card for you and your person 
one more card for you and your person here. This was deep, y'all. I hope y'all feeling it. Okay. One more card. I have here my beloved. <clears throat> my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time and nothing is missing. And you were physically apart from this person. But you're physically together, but you were prior to this lockdown. You all may have been physically apart, but now you all are together both physically and emotionally. So this person is just telling you spiritually, spiritually, we are always united. And for love transcends space and time and nothing is missing. They, nothing is missing. They love you. Okay. They love you. And I have balance. Love is, love is not always about agreeing for the sake of a relationship. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And right now, you all need support in this challenging time. And you all have finally or will be able to find balance once this, this lockdown is over with. You found your true love in this lockdown. You found your true love in this lockdown. Oh, sorry. Thank you all. <laughs> 